I'm Matt Sampson here with meteorologist John Erdman. John, the threat of some dangerous flooding on the 4th of July and into the weekend, what's the latest on that? Well, we have a classic flash flood setup. First of all, the upper atmosphere is clogged. There's nothing's moving from west to east. Then we have a huge fetch of tropical moisture that's coming up from the Western Caribbean, Central America, into the southeast and parts of the east. So that means places like uh, the Florida Panhandle, the Alabama coast, up into the Tennessee Valley and the Southern Appalachians, as far north as Kentucky and Ohio and West Virginia, may see some significant flash flooding this weekend. Now we saw some dangerous flooding in these regions earlier this year, isn't that right? We had an unusual flash flood event in mid-January in the southern Appalachians, which included a washout of the main road, US 441, that goes through Great Smoky Mountains National Park. That road had just opened back up in mid-April, and unfortunately, it could be a similar situation with major flash flooding again this weekend. All right, thanks, John. Sure. Let's go now to hurricane specialist Carl Parker, who has more on the tropical development that could affect your 4th of July plans. Yeah, we are watching an area of low pressure that is now developing in the Gulf of Mexico, and by tomorrow morning, it's going to be along the coast. Now, it may or may not be a tropical system, at least designated as so by the Hurricane Center. It doesn't really matter because the impacts will be the same. Gusty winds, northwest Florida, heavy rain and storms, high surf and a rip current threat, and we will see possible tornadoes, and that may extend all the way up in Alabama and parts of Georgia tomorrow.